Hello everybody and welcome back to G Bears Off Grid Ways. So didn't get much done today. Um I did clean out some of the stuff out of the battery room, got it up here on the trailer, and uh then it just got too hot, so I left it right there and uh tomorrow early before the sun gets too hot. I'll open up the shops and put things in the right place where they go. Wire goes with the electrical stuff. Uh, the uh, old electronics goes with the old electronics stuff. I save those parts so I can use them for other things. The little um, generator will uh, do its thing wherever it's got to go. My battery charger will go in with automotive. Things like that, you know. I found that little electric motor there. I think that came from a, an old winch motor. And uh, I got to check to see if that motor still runs. If it did, that might work out for a nice uh, little turntable type thing for uh, my neighbor Letty, who likes to do uh, crafts with clay. So, anyway, this battery is almost repaired. Uh, I have to let it go one more day. I brought the 100 amp or, or the 100 water over here, laid it on top of the uh, uh, 15 amp or uh, 15 water, and see by tomorrow that should be done. The little one takes five, six days, so 100 watt is the way to go. All right, so that's done. Dogs here are all doing their thing. Now, that little one over there, the little black one, started about 4 a.m. barking at the moon and drove me nuts. I get up and shut her up and then the next thing you know, she was barking again. And then little runt here apparently got into a fight with somebody and he's got a, a, a boo-boo on his ear right there. It doesn't seem to be bothering him too much, and his mom was looking at it a little earlier. But, uh, yeah, don't know what that was all about. Right, buddy? All right, all right. Guys, calm down. Calm down. All right, so. I got to doing some measuring today. And uh, one of my plans is going to have to be adjusted because, let's move around here, because I got all that shelf cleaned off so I can move these batteries over there temporarily while I set up my new batteries in this location on a shelf that's a little higher. Well, I can build a shelf and get all the batteries that'll fit perfectly in between the door and that shelving unit right there perfectly. Problem is, they won't fit inside of their foam cushions and boxes like I wanted to to protect them from temperatures. And uh, what I'm going to do is just make a, um, a modification to it. I'm just going to put the shelf in. I'm going to put the batteries on the shelf. And then I will work on building a insulated cover around the batteries underneath the unit there so that it uh, keeps them warm in the winter. I don't think I'll have a problem because like I said, the really extreme cold weather is usually overnight and uh, the batteries won't be charging overnight anyway. So if the BMS shuts them down from being charged, there's no big deal because by the time I get up in the morning and the sun is already out, the temperature outside is already in the 60s. So I shouldn't have any problem with cold weather charging. But anyway, uh, that's my problem. And then I thought, well, maybe I can rotate them and put two this way and two this way. And I said, you know what? Keep it simple, Sam. So I'm going to 
just put them in the way I planned on doing it and then I'll worry about insulating um, the area that they're in later because they were inside this room the door is closed in the winter time they generate a little bit of heat on them on their own so and this unit generates some heat in here and then the, the turbine uh, generates the extra heat that goes through that uh, um, heating element what am I worrying about there should be plenty of warm in here heck I've come out on a cold morning where it was uh, in the 50s and uh, opened this door and the rush of warm air that came out was just pleasant it was like somebody turned a heater on so I should be okay now, I do have one more of those little uh, DC breakers right there it's a 500 amper I think it's right there on the shelf and uh, I may end up putting that in line on the uh, um, the connection for the batteries as a uh, I'm going to be running 920 amps there, so I don't know. Uh, I've never used any of those things on anything except the turbine. I have a DC breaker right there for the turbine, and uh, it's popped a couple of times in really super high winds, and uh, then I found out that that's not a good thing to do with a PMA because that's like disconnecting um the power from your pma so it disrupts the uh, stator and that's probably why i'm only getting up to 650 700 um watts out of it now instead of getting 1600 watts out of it so live and learn learn and live all right everybody that's all i really have so i'm going to cut this one short today and say Thanks for joining me. This is G-Bear signing off.